Okay guys, mabuhay maligay ang pagbabalik sa aking YouTube channel. Ayun na nga, tinabla ng MTRCB ang, or the Movie and Television Review and Classification Board ang uh, motions for reconsideration ng Showtime. But anyways, eto nga ang kanilang statement muna. The Movie and Television Review and Classification Board, MTRCB, released a resolution dated 28 September 2023 denying the motions for reconsideration MR filed by GMA Network in and ABS-CBN Corporation said MR sought relief from the board's ruling dated August 17, 2023 regarding the July 25, 2023 episodes of the live noontime television program It showed time, specifically during the show's Isip Bata segment in which host Ryan Bang, Vice Ganda, and Ion Perez allegedly acted indecently or inappropriately in the presence of children which is alleged to have violated Chapter 4, Section 2B1 of the 2004 Implementing Rules and Regulations the presiden of the Presidential Decree Number 1986, in view, of which, in view of which the Board's decision dated 17 August 2023 is affirmed. So, yun muna. But anyways, ito naman ang statement ng ABS-CBN na pinadala rin kanina. Uh, marami kasi yung ginawa ngayon kaya hindi ko masyadong na ano eh, na agad-agad eh. Ito, pahayag sa desisyon ng MTRCB tungkol sa it showtime. Nahihain na sa amin ang desisyon ng Movie and Television Review and Classification Board na itinanggi ang aming motion for reconsideration para sa programming it showtime at pinag-aaralan namin ang aming option. Samantala, habang di pa final at executory ang ipinataw na suspension, nice naming ipaalam sa aming viewers na patuloy pa rin nilang mapapanood ang It's Showtime sa Kapamilya Channel A to Z at GTV. Pwede rin itong mapanood sa Kapamilya Online Live I Want TFC at TFC. Yun pala ang statement ng ABS-CBN. Parang sinasabi nga, hindi pa naman final at executory. Pero ang ibig sabihin nun, pwede pa silang umapila, hindi lang sa MTRCB, baka umabot sila sa yon baka nga ba umabot pa sa malakan niyang, di ba? So anyways, bukod doon, ano, nag-send din ng MTRCB ng mga, hindi lang naman yung sa isip bata ang naging violation, pero marami rin mga violation daw ang showtime na na-dismissed. Like for example, um, natin mga pinadala nila, ayan, media briefer on the actions taken, taken by MTRCB, right? Showtime brief background, viewers have lodged multiple Complaints before the MTRCB concerning the program's 25 July 2023 episode wherein the host allegedly acted in an indecent. So, isa yun sa mga ano. Pero bukod pa doon, meron pa ditong sinasabi nila tungkol sa uh, prior warnings. This is not the first time that a preventive suspension order was imposed on the noontime program. In 2010, the MTRCB imposed a 20-day preventive suspension on ABS-CBN's Daily variety program then called Showtime in 2023 alone, the MTRC has received multiple complaints which the board has given due course. It may also be recalled that the noontime show received prior warnings from the board in relation to the following. Number one, ito nga yung utterance of the word G-spot by, G by some of the hosts of the program. Um, utterance of the word Tingil by one of the hosts of the program aired on June 3. Utterance of the word Peck Peck Shorts by one of the hosts of the program aired on January 9, 2023 and for the provocative performance of Kim Duenas on the Girl on Fire segment aired on Feb 14, 2023. In all these cases, respondents were either given stern warnings or were admonished that similar violations shall be dealt with more severely. Complaints dismissed for lack of merit apart from the aforementioned cases. Um, the MTRCB has received multiple complaints regarding the noontime show which the board dismissed in the spirit of fairness and quality as follows. Meron pa rin pagbanggit ng tuli and then at yung isa pa, um, meron ding binanggit daw ang salitang, eto, kasi dami mga salitang ano, sandata, yun, binanggit daw yung salitang sandata. At yung vibrator na mention din daw. At syempre yung bulaklak na mention din daw. And ayun pa, yung suggestive macho dancing, the hearing, yun. Yung mga ganun. 
But anyways, lahat naman daw yon ay na-dismiss. The report was dismissed for lack of merit. So, eto lang talaga yung recently lang dahil may mga bata nga. Yun lang yung para nag prosper But anyways, I hope na, sabi nga ng ABS-CBN, uh, for now, habang wala pa namang ano, hindi pa naman final and executor at executory ang decision na ito. So, may, meron pa silang ano, uh, mapapanood at mapapanood pa rin sila. Again, hindi natin alam kung gaano pa, kung saan pa aabot ito. Pero for sure naman, sana nga maayos pa rin hanggang sa huli. Yun lang naman